All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some mono green aggro. Let's get our play points on. And get in here. Just took this from a 5 out list, changed, changed one card, switched out an Aether Sphere Harvester for a Brontodon. Because there are five vehicles, I guess. The chat was like, I should do it. So I did. I feel like this deck's gonna struggle not having a whole lot of locking blisters. Like, there's no removal, but I don't know. They also don't have any. Like, a card that I really like for control decks out of green decks is whatever the Scry One Draw Card card. I can't think of the name of it. It's a three drop artifact. It'll come to me. It'll come to me in a bit. I just can't think of it. What is it? It's like... All right, here. We got Thrashy, Thrashy Boy on two. Inspiring Vantage probably means this guy's gonna die. So we're probably playing against Mardu Vehicles, if I had to guess. I'm kind of excited to play against this deck because like, we saw me get beat up by a control deck because I didn't have answers to um, what was I going to say? I didn't have answers to enchantments. Life Crafters Beast Year. Yeah, that's it. This is uh, alright, yeah, so this is like this is the draw from the opponent. All right, I think we're getting in with this land or elf. And then... Maybe go trade, trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're not even close to this to this here, Galta. I think we're going to need an Aether Sphere Harvester to win this game. That's, that's, that's what my gut tells me. All right, gonna trade. Attack with this one, so they get, okay, so, oh, they just, they kept their cards. Yep, we're in, we're in tough shape. The home team is on the struggle bus. This has also been a really good draw from our opponent, I think. The like double bow mat on the play, and then they backed it up with a couple unlicensed disintegrations. Oh, okay, what do they have in their hand? So one, two. This becomes five power, five, tap it. Okay, so if I draw one more land, I can actually cast my Galta. But I actually, no, that was stupid. I could have brought back my Kenra. Should have done that before combat. All right, I'm just gonna do it now. Wasn't, I was, I was, so, I was focused on the, the Galta. I didn't do that. And I, I definitely should have just attacked for five. Like that was, that was, that was dumb. All right. So this is four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But the blossoming defense is saving me mass. So if I attack with this, four. So if I attack with this thing, I'm definitely attacking, but I just want to make sure I have enough mana to do it. So come in with this, then let's say I pump once to get over the top of this. 
This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have it exactly if I pump once. But if I don't pump, what do I have? 4, 5, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're good either way. There's definitely a chance that I should have pumped in order to save myself a mana so that I could not be dead to unlicensed disintegration. Because now we're dead to, I guess it'd be the third disintegration, but we might just be able to, now we're not gonna kill our opponent if they're at 18. That's gonna be tough to do. Because this is four, 16, 17, oh, we're gonna two. So we might actually be able, might be able to do it. Oh, no, we're not gonna be able to do it. Nope, the third disintegration got us. Okay, Um. so sideboard in here. The Blisses are good. The Brontodons are good. Um, I don't really know what else is super great. I don't know what to side in. So I don't really want four Galtas, I don't think. They're gonna si I think they're gonna sideboard into like the controlling deck. So I think I wanna bring in these removal spells. Although that doesn't make sense. Depends on how they sideboard. I think they're gonna get grindy. So is this hits me? Creatures you control, permanents, okay. So if they get grindy, I can bring these in and then cut like keeping my removal. I, just, I don't know how to sideboard. Which of my cards is the worst? Probably Ronus. If they if they go like full control, they're gonna remove a lot of my creatures. So Ronus probably isn't great. And maybe if they go like maybe I'll bring in the ball, the ballista on the draw if they tend to go more aggressive. I kind of want the sky ship. Maybe I'll cut the harvesters because like they, they might be going they may be aggressive. But they might they might be like a planeswalker control deck after sideboard. So like this comes in and smokes a planeswalker at least. And I'll bring in one of these. Because it can it, like if we get a Galta down, I can kill Dawnbringer. I don't I don't think any of these cards are much better. I don't know, tough to sideboard with a deck that you don't have a whole lot of experience with. But we're going to give this a try. Magic's tough. Especially magic that you don't know what's going on. Alright, I would like to play first. So I think, what is this? So pay two energy. I think I just want to play the Rampager on turn one so that I can play it on turn two. I guess I could do the same thing with if I had Land of Wales. That was stupid. Well, not necessarily. No, I couldn't because I need to play it three times. All right, never mind. No, that was stupid, right? Because you go one, one, two. Yeah, that was just dumb. That was a big Dumbo. I guess it turns out the same, right? No, no, it doesn't. You have to have it when it resolves. Yeah, that was just stupid. I could have one more mana, which could matter for this turn. There's the heart. 
So I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna play this resilient Kenra when it when they can block with the heart of Kieran to force through attacks. So we're just gonna put this in the graveyard. Because they go like three drop pass, then I'll just play this Kenra so I have good a good combat. Yeah, see now we're just doing an attack right through this heart of Kieran. they do their scry the magma spray my camera well that's not where I'm going but top bottom one two three four five now we're just gonna get this we're gonna start working this um this boat we're gonna smoke this thing okay and then next turn I can go like Kenra on this, Kenra on this, crew and attack. We'll get some more coffee. Give me one second, pal. He didn't crew? Oh, all right. I was just worried about my coffee, so I didn't pay attention to it. So now we'll crew on this, or we'll pump this up here. Yes, use it to crew. And then hit. We're just gonna put two on this rampager. And then just crack in for a bunch of damage. I would assume that one of these two things is going to die. And I'm sure I could have crewed there better. I was worried about what Grant was talking about there, so I probably probably muffed that up. Settle the wreckage, okay. Settle the wreckage is all right. I always forget that about the the uh, Mardu decks in that. Like there's so much going on with them. Like how they switch at their sideboard. So what do you got here? Ballista for two, okay. So now we'll shoot this, blossoming defense, whatever. Well if he if he hits one of the, if he hits like this, we'll let it happen. If he goes to shoot a Kenra, then we'll... Ship. Yeah. And that's just something I'm not used to. Then we'll Blossoming Defense this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to hit this. We get, we get in for a lot of damage here. And we've already got like one Kenra to flashback next turn. So, like my, my man is going to be tied up for a lot of this game. And this is also just a good attack while they're tapped out to not get settled. And that's just a, a big problem, like some of the issues that I have in standard is that I just don't have the play patterns down yet. So they cut a Kenra, so they can't settle me again. So let's... Let's bring this back. I'm gonna hit this resilient. I'm gonna hit this Kenra. I thought I was just dead here if they don't have two removal spells. We're not gonna attack with the land or else, we're just gonna blossoming defense something. Murder blaze me. Okay. 
So are they going to get aggressive when they're on the play is the big question. I think they are. Bring in a little bit more removal. Yeah, let's give you a little bit more removal. Get a little lower to the ground. I'm gonna get punished here if they don't go big. But if they go big, I'm, I'm gonna I'm not I don't have too too much gas. But we still just we just have a bunch of big dudes and blossoming defenses. So even if they go big, as long as they don't get, as long as they don't play stupid into uh, settle the wreckage, which is probably going to happen. I just don't have that going on. To kill any creature in their deck. Well, do you mean in their deck? Don't they have like two? As long as they're going, as long as they're going, um, as long as they're going. If they're like getting low to the ground, they have like Toolcraft Exemplar, um, and they have whatever the dumb card is, Veteran Motorist. You need to cast it. So you think it's bad in their deck or it's bad in my deck? Grant. What are you up to down there, Phil? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? I think it's bad in the main of your deck and bad against their deck as a whole. Well, it's not bad if they're on the if they're on the aggressive plan, right? Maybe I'll cut one of them, play another Galta, because like they just don't have a lot of good ways to deal with this. Yeah, we'll try this. There are versions of this deck that play the monument, the green monument. Um, I have lands and spells. My spells aren't that great. This is like either more lands to fuel this or selection. I'm going to keep it. Okay, so at least we... They've got 12 one toughness creatures, if they're on the aggressive plan, that's what I mean. Like they got Toolcraft, Veteran Motorist, Bomat Courier. So we're just gonna smoke this. Or I can play Greenbelt Rampager. I'd like to play Greenbelt Rampager I think I'm just gonna deal with this. Cause like next turn I can play Greenbelt Rampager with Blossoming Defense up. I'm still like, it's still kind of a shitty trade, right? Cause he, he like slapped me for three. Now our dude's just huge. This guy's huge. This is where Blasphemy Defense is so good. Cause then because like Blasphemy Defense is gonna trade for like their entire turn. Okay. So I think I'm gonna fight this Pia. Yeah, like Walking Blista. Yeah, like Walking Blista is either aces, uh, or it's just not that good. I think. So let's start. Like 
Because like if they go big, it's not good. So let's start with this. Okay, we drew land. So I think I just go prey upon here, get this thing off the battlefield, and then attack. Because this doesn't even trade with it. Then hold this up. I can, I'm not really blocking, I don't think. Well, I might block just to kind of slow our opponent down. Though if I block, I take power off the board. The question is, can I win a race? This is, this is four, I go 10. And then I only hit them back. I think I'm going to block. As bad as this feels, it kind of ties up their turn. And this, I'd like to just keep beating with this Rampager. Okay. So at least they can't bring it back on their turn. Or on my turn, excuse me. So we need we need a big dude. We need something big. I feel like this deck could play Death Gorge Scavenger, maybe. If if this deck gets big. So my opponent gets in here for five, we go to eight, we attack them for four. They play another creature, we could be in a lot of trouble. But like, you know, we're not, we can't do too much about it. They play land. That's unfortunate. All right, so I'm just gonna attack with this land war elf. Problem is I'm dead and like, I need to draw like Aether Sphere Harvester or I'm gonna lose. So I'm gonna get in with this guy, hold this back to block. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan my hand. Like we had a good beater, but this deck just beats harder than we do. There we go, that's a tough one to handle. So that cruise, so this is exactly eight. So I gotta chump block this. And then we dead as a doorknob. We gotta, we gotta draw Aether Sphere Harvester to have a shot. I don't even know if Harvester does it because we're so low in life. I could have Blossoming Defensed. Steel Leaf Champion doesn't do it. I probably should have Blossoming Defensed just because in case I drew Aether Sphere Harvester, this Lara Dawnbringer might have to crew this, and then I could at least, you know, play some magic, but it's not how it worked out. I probably should have mulliganed my initial hand. That's probably what I should have done. Aether Sphere Harvester plus Blossoming Defense does, though. Which, like, gets absolutely destroyed by, you know, anything, but, like, I'm not really beating anything, right? That was my that was my initial thought. Like whatever, fuck it. If he kills my if he kills my harvester with anything, then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Tunnel Co. Well, um, I'll keep it. OK. 
Okay. This guy's gonna counter my branch walker and then I'm gonna puke. All right, at least we drew a land. I probably should have led with the walking bless there because it's the worst one. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? What are you doing, Phil? What are you doing, buddy? Um, I'm going to put this in my graveyard. I think I'd like to draw lands. All right, get pushed. Now I kind of want to play this Kenra because I have if they don't counter it, I can Blossoming Defense or Removal Spell. Okay. And like I could have played the Ballista, I guess, but Ballista is better. Like the later, the longer the game goes, the better Ballista is. I'd like to draw land. Didn't draw land. Um, so I want to cast something that's worth countering, so my opponent doesn't glimmer. So I think I'm just gonna run this Ronus out here, and they might not even think this is worth it because I don't have anything to, to crew, but I would rather them counter that than Glimmer of Genius. Okay, they're missing land, so I'm just gonna continue to jam. Give them the option to counter my stuff or, or Glimmer. Okay, so they're gonna Illumination. They still miss lands. Hey, everybody coming over from Squaw Chief stream. All right, so we're going to get settled the wreckage, probably. My name is Dylan Hovey. We're playing some standard today. We're going to play four or five standard decks today. We're just going to do everything. Um, I guess... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't sell the wreckage. Um, guess I want to play Ballista. Nah, Land or Elf could let me do some more do some more mana, do some more stuff. Alright, um, do I want to play another spell? I don't think so. If I go, like, Land Fumigate, I'm in a lot of trouble. So I think I'm just going to wait. Or I could have... I, I should have jammed because... I should have jammed because for all I know, they have another draw spell. And, um, like, playing into their draw spell is pretty good for me. Just to make it so they, like, they have to pay a cost. Like, Land of War Elf is like, whatever. It's not really a big cost. Scare of God. Okay. I'll put that on the list of cards. So what do we got now? Two. All right, so I'm gonna attack with Thrashing Bronted on. And then I could attack with Land of Elf, but I'm just gonna attack with Thrashing Bronted on and then play Sky Sovereign and look to play Galta next turn. All right, we'll take this. Just tempo my opponent out here a little bit. Then I'm gonna play a Ballista for two. I think it's so annoying that the Scarab God comes back to your hand. I wish the Scarab God came back to the top of your library. Esper with blue and white are such... <laughs> Can't be this. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can play Galta. So I'm going to play Galta before I attack. And now I'm going to attack with the Brontodon. Because if my opponent um, 
blocks. I'm just going to shoot it and reset him again. It's kind of weak to like a rat. Like if they have a Vraska Contempt on top of this Scarab God, then like probably dead. But I don't want to. I don't want them to keep activating this Scarab God because like. Yeah, there's elves. I think I'm just gonna smoke this thing. Like, if they have a like, so I'm not beating the Scarab God can like, can overwhelm this Galta, eventually, because I have a bunch of creatures in my graveyard, and Vraska's Contempt is like if I don't do it. So if I just let the Scarab God live, and don't attack, they just Contempt this, and then I'm back to where I am. If I let the if I kill the Scarab God. And have it come back to their hand, then at least I have a 12 12 on the board. And if they tap out for the scarab god again, I get to continue attacking. And if they have a contempt, they have a contempt. I'm just like dead as a doorknob. Yeah. Alright. Opponent's got it. And then we're not going to play through that. So we want Sorcerer's Spyglass. Probably all this graveyard hate's probably good. Um, heroic intervention's good. Nissa and Thrashing Brontodon are probably good. I always forget about that. Ooh, did they have? Did they have? Cast out doesn't hit Galta. You're right, Grant. Forgot about that. Cast down doesn't hit Galta. I just gave him the game. Just gave it to him. Aegis Fair Harvester's not good. Heart of Kieran. No, I just zoned out. Nope. I just zoned out. Apparently my opponent did too. And I definitely should have waited until their end step. I always forget that with the Scarab God. Yeah, Sky Sovereign's coming out. For sure. I want the Blossoming Defenses. Well, so, like, I, I find that vehicles have, like, a couple things going on against control, right? Like, vehicles can sit here and they effectively give your creatures haste, which sometimes is good, right? Like, they're not good on their own, but they do do things. But I, I don't know what else to sideboard out. Like, I want my Rampagers. I want my Blossoming Defenses. I'm so I'm frustrated we gave that game away though. Literally. But it doesn't look like we have enough to bring in. Like these are worse than most of our other cards. Like I can see the Heart of Curing be better than Brontodon if they don't have um white spells. Probably can cut one of these Galtas too. Because they're gonna be like picking apart what I'm doing. Or boarding out some creatures. Yeah, let's go like this. So. Let's see if we can tighten it up. I'm making all kinds of mistakes with this deck at least. And I do that. Whenever I play a new deck, I always like, I always flub up. Just because like, it takes me, like I'm not a very intuitive magic player. Like I don't just sit there and like, I don't just sit there and get things. I need to slow down and like figure out exactly what I'm doing. So here I'm going to lead on the Elf. Now don't make the mistake that we made in the last game because then we can play Rampager plus Elf. Next turn. Now I kind of just want to jam the Steel Leaf Champion. And just start beating, just beat for five. The big boy. He's a big boy here. That's such cool art. He can't just kill it. But like such is life, yeah. A land there would have been nice. 
Because, like, we have enough gas here where we can keep him on the back foot until we play Nessa. I wonder what the white's for. The white's got to be for, like, removal spells. Or, the, like, the, like, seal ways. Cast down does not hit golf. Blossoming defense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So that's why I like I want them to hit something with this and then draw a Bronton on. Alright, so let's get this going. God, lands would be so sweet. Always yield. Like can also get rid of artifacts. Yep, that makes sense. So looks like we can get settled. But are, do we even feel that bad about getting settled the wreckage? Yeah, I don't even think we feel that bad about getting settled. I'm gonna just cast this on this land or elf. And then attack with both of these. If they settle, if they settle, I hope they settle. Me. Well, actually, this plays pretty poorly against Seal Away. What are you doing, Phil? What are you doing? Okay, so I just killed my Green Belt Rampager. Oh, they don't have lands either. So my opponent, we should just jam into my into whatever my opponent's doing here. Because they could easily have like draw spells. Yeah, I'm gonna play into their glimmer this turn. I'm gonna do it before combat, so that if they counter this before combat, I can attack my land or elf. Okay, here we go. Don't play a scare of God. You're gonna play scare of God. Oh, the fairy. This card's good. It's kind of cool how it like pseudo cost three, you know? So they have to have sensor or negate. So if they have sensor or negate, then whatever. Because <clears throat> the upside is just so high if we can like get this thing going here. Because we can either kill. We can kill the Teferi. Syncopate, yeah. Syncopate. Could have force spiked me. Okay, that gets contempted. All right, so now we're just gonna jam this, put this Kenra on my Land of War Elf. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I want a Blossoming Defense to save anything. Yes. I should have tapped my Hash of Oasis. We know my opponent's hands all spells because, like, they miss the land drop, which is a little nerve wracking. <clears throat> it 
at least we're kind of at card parity because they drew a card off of their um they drew a card off of whatever it is the i can't think they drew a card off of gosh i'm losing my mind they drew a card off to fairy and our nissa got it but then the the whatever it is the contempt killed the nissa so it's like an even trade so we're staring down a gear hulk i might as well just attack with everything because we can again play a land war elf after combat to be able to bring back these kenras oh settle the wreckage settle the wreckage don't settle the wreckage me all right it's just a gear hulk okay so my opponent goes to contempt a kenra i'm gonna give it blast i'm gonna like blossoming defense it because um, I would rather them block it and have it in the graveyard. So like, it's still not a great trade for the home team, but at least like at least this is dead. At least uh, it's in the graveyard to reuse. And I'm gonna play another L. Because I don't think they're going to play a Wrath of God. We're just going to take this. Okay. So they didn't have Settle last turn, so they would have had to just draw it this turn. I think if they would have got... If they would have... Um, if they would, have, they have to draw it, and I think they would have attacked their Gear Hulk if they drew it. So we're gonna Ken, we're gonna like Kenra onto this Kenra, and then we're gonna attack with everything. I don't think we're gonna beat like the longer this game goes, the worse it is for us. No, I do not. I do not like. I'm about to learn limited for the Grand Prix DC, but not now. Okay, so this means my Kenra's dead. My favorite format's modern. So they're gonna disallow this. That's okay. I'm specifically for standard. If I want limited, I can watch one of my many other streamers do that. Yes. Yep. This is not really. I, I play limited from time to time. Like I, I had a fun time. Um, I did one sealed, and I, I had a good time. I like the format. Ooh. So we're gonna go like this. And hope they don't have removal spell plus counter spell. They do have another hole. So we cast that, we Blossoming Defense. We can trade for a Hulk here. And then we've just got nothing else really going on, which is not great. But. I think we trade for a Hulk. It's not really getting any better. I gotta get I gotta get rid of Nightbot. Nightbot's annoying. This this Kenra's not getting any better than a 9-9. So like I should just get rid of one of these. 
And then just like play the rampager out. I think my opponent's won it. My opponent should double lock. I believe you, Squad Chief. I watch your stream. I believe you. Even though you got wrecked earlier. That's on that's on video. That's going on YouTube. I guess you're right, Rafi, I should have. Just one more point. What's up, buddy? Dad, I have to go out. What time did you go out? You went out at 8 30? It's probably that's about as long as we want to stretch it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to take Phil out. That's frustrating that my mic's not working out very well. God, they're going to go with both. They should block with both, yeah. Maybe I'll unplug it and plug it in. So we're both kind of at, well, we're not at parity. They're ahead. <laughs> what a thumbs up. So at least they draw the land. Hopefully they just draw nothing but lands the rest of the game. They should attack, I think. Because they don't really have anything that punishes them if they attack, I don't think. All right, so I'm going to lead with this. So they have a counter spell they use it. I think I'd rather use this branch walker in play. So they don't have either. Ooh. So Ronus is interesting. Ooh, Brontodon kills Deer Hulk. Deer Hulk, yep. Ronus is good too though. Come on. So now I think we just send it in here and hope. I haven't tried mono right yet. Mono white yet. I was gonna play that today, but decided to go with these ones. With mono I'm gonna play mono white. I'm gonna play mono green. I played mono red. I'm gonna play blue black, and then I'm gonna play one more deck that I I'm gonna play snake. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. We get kind of wrecked here, but this Ronus is going to give us some good inevitability. Like, in all reality, the longer this game goes, it doesn't get any better for us. Yeah, so they're going to kill this. They get rid of this. It's okay. We can pump, we can pump a Land of War Elf and attack with Ronus next turn. Oh, it comes to Scare of God. And he can activate it. This game's over. Yeah. Yeah, they're just going to contempt that. Yep. All right. Let's get one more. One more in here. Probably going to lose. This deck has not felt super great. Yeah. So I think one of the problems, like uh, Cold Bringo, <laughs> is that uh, with the Mono White deck, you are just such you are gonna get so blown out by the Chain Gang. 
that like I just don't think I don't think you can I don't think you can reasonably play that deck because like like yes you have other cards that will pump your stuff but the chain gang is just such a blowout and even if you have if they have a soul scar mage out in play then they it completely gets rid of your uh, completely gets rid of your your chain gang's advantage or your your anthem. I'm gonna keep this because we can go two, three, and then like if we draw anything that we can do something. I don't know if I'm supposed to mulligan hands like this or not. But I'm just gonna land the spells. Like Bliss is good, Harvest is good. The Chain Gang's just so good. The Chain Gang's been the most impressive card I've seen out of the I don't know. I probably played like ten standard leagues or so. Submerged Boneyard. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to attack first and then play the champion. So I guess I guess I can play Green Belt Rampage and play around Syncopate. Yeah, why don't we do that? Well, I guess I can't. That was stupid. I keep forgetting how, like, this doesn't, like, I keep thinking that this works like this. Like, you get the energy and then you pay it. But that's not how that works. So I should have just jammed my Steel Leaf Champion. Because they both, they both lose. So, like, this doesn't get pushed. This does. So that was just stupid. Yeah, see? I just, like, fucked up. I keep thinking this is, like, one, two, good. But it's the third time you need. Flash crew on vehicles. Makes sense. Um, I don't want to just pass. So I can. I think I'm gonna play this harvester because, like, this Galta is not gonna do very much for me. What is gonna do stuff for me is if I get this harvester down, then a lot of my creatures have like pseudo haste. And then I can jam. I can jam in next turn with like a Steel Leaf Champion. Phil Dog. Phil Dog. Get out of my face. Right, cycling illumination is good. I like I like hieroglyphic illumination in all of these decks way better than glimmer. Like I think glimmer is just like too slow. All right, so now we're gonna jam, jam the steel leaf champion. I like just having the option. Commit. Okay. So I wonder if we draw one drop, one, we draw like Llanowar Elf and we crew a bunch of things, that's eight. We can play, if we draw Llanowar Elf, we can play Galta next turn, which would be cool. I especially like how, like I, I played blue black for a little bit last season and I liked how there was a point where it was like legitimately right. That sucks. Um, well, I want to do this. Tell you what, when we get a creature, we're gonna be off to the races. We're gonna hit my Hesha Oasis. I've not really enjoyed this green deck very much. All right, so at least we get our. Oh, they shuffled it away. Yeah, this green deck has felt kind of mopey. This is like, this is the Gear Hulk turn. At least I didn't Gear Hulk me. But which means I'm never resolving anything. What also is weird is that this deck doesn't have like, 
any of the really good sideboard cards that green offers, I think. Like the the Lifecrafter's Bestiary didn't play it. All right, well, we're going to get rid of that. Hopefully he didn't draw a Gear Hulk. I could play around it, but then he just flips his... He flips his, his Kanta next turn. So that's why I wanted to do it right then. I could have done it on his upkeep, I guess. But... If I act then... He can do like two things. If I act first, he gets to go Gear Hulk Illumination no matter what. And if he's got Disallow, then he's just got me anyways. Because he's got plenty of mana. Like mana's not the issue. He has nine mana. So he could have Disallowed and had Gear Hulk. So I thought the only thing I could like effectively fight was the Ascanta there. Yeah, we're super dead. Shaver said, yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's no good, like, because I, I just I just pulled a bunch of decks from the 5-0 list and decided to play them. Like, the only deck that I've played, I've only played two decks extensively, and they're not even, yeah, we're good. I've only played two decks extensively in this format. I've played a lot of mono red, and I've played like a red-green glory breaker deck. I like mono red a lot. Okay, we'll get this in here. Might as well get Thrashy B, get everything that messes with the graveyard. Get these boys out of here. I want Nissa as well, so. I think I can cut these two. Um, so I'm kind of naked to whatever that card is they always play. If they bring in Glincy Siphoner, I'm pretty screwed. But maybe they don't have Siphoner in their deck because they're playing Illumination. So I think I'm going to just like play like they don't have it. Or they just play like a bunch of creatures and go full aggro. Yeah, the thing that's weird about this deck is like I can see this deck beating up on like mono red and maybe other mid range decks because Galta's or other like creature decks because Galta's huge, but you're just like not fast enough to beat a control deck. God, what a what a deck we have here. That's why I don't play the Scavenger Ground in mono red, but they have Land War Elves, which helps with that. So maybe it's a little more defensible. Probably bidding any, anything that's not basic forest. We're gonna draw the basic forest, hopefully. Um, I just trade so well with everything my opponent does, but I want I want to just I want to draw lands. Yeah, I'll put it in the graveyard. I just want to draw lands. So I'm going to attack first with this guy. Oh, that's nice. Alright, we're going to cast Ronus. This is a good sideboard card. I didn't think they were playing this. I probably should have just traded, to be honest. So, I think I'm just going to play this. Pump here. And then attack with Ronus. I could have just used my mana, but then again, if they have a removal spell for this, it doesn't really matter. Next turn, I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna do the same play next turn, more than likely. Pump this. Get in with Ronus. I really don't want to trade with this. Because then, like, I can't even attack with my Ronus no matter what. Because I don't have anything that's... Unless I draw another land. If I draw another land, then I'll trade with this. But I don't want to do it until I find a land. I'm just going to slam a Scarab God like a Savage. Okay. Like just an absolute animal. Pump the Branch Walker. Okay. Counter spells. 
So now there's an, there's an argument to attacking there with the Branch Walker because they only have one more card in their hand. I guess that makes sense. They've been... They, they ditched a Gear Hulk. So they must... Their last card's got to be a Gear Hulk. Jeez. This sucks. I can't even scavenger grounds. We're just going to pass... I guess I could attack now. Then heroic intervention this. But what could their last card be? The last card's gotta be like, last card's gotta be another Gear Hulk, right? I mean, there's no way you ditch Gear Hulk if, like their card must have been Gear Hulk and they were looking for land, I think. So like, I don't think I have a very good attack here, but. I guess my whole plan next turn is just Steel Leaf Champion. Wait, one, two, nine. I'm just gonna intervention this. If they go Gear Hulk counter spell, we still trade, and then it's just Gear Hulk versus our board, and they're on empty. Okay, so it was a, I can't believe they ditched the Gear Hulk. That must have been a misclick. They must have like misclicked with that. So they field my scavenger grounds here. Maybe they don't. Phil, we're getting beat up, bud. It's not been good. Oh, they're coming in. Okay. That makes me a little scared. The fact they're coming in. Field around this. Give me one second. Come on, Phil. Okay. All right. So now, now I think I just play Steel Leaf, or do I play this Search to blow this thing up, or play this Thrashing Brontodon? What do you think, Phil? Do I play Steel Leaf and get in there? This game's gonna last for a while. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to kill this. 
right now. I think this thing's gonna bury me. The way this land, the way this is going. No! God, I just moto lagged out of my mind there. Oh, that's frustrating. I just missed out on an attack, which is super annoying. What's up, buddy? Not much, Dad. Oh, Argle's blood fast. That's bad. You want to talk about cards that are going to bury me. They drew a card off the bat. That's interesting. So I think the... So I can either play Galta or I can play Nissa. How much does Galta cost? One... Galta costs two... Stop that. Delta cost just two. So I can actually play Nissa and play Galta. Hey, stop it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with this Nissa. Actually, I'm gonna attack first. So come in with both of these. My opponent does anything. Nothing from the opponent, okay. So you should take 10. All right. Then play a land, untap it, play Galta. And then wait. After this match, I gotta go take my puppy out and then I'll finish the league here. Wow, they're just drawing cards. Holy shit. They just must have stoned nothing. Well, they're gonna like Bantu's Last Reckoning me, and I guess they just die if they Bantu's Last Reckoning me. Because I just, Ronus lives, animate a land, and crack him. They get one of my lands though, so I only have three lands. What is going on? They're probably like, how did this go so wrong? Like they were so far ahead and now they're not. They're like, what went on here? Okay, activating Argyle's blood fast is good for the home team. Jeez, that's unreal. That is unreal. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna keep it the same. We didn't see any siphoners. Like, there's not really a good way for this deck to handle whatever the dumb card is. Um, Ether, Etherborn. So we're just. I just don't think we're gonna we're gonna deal with it. 63 viewers. I really appreciate everybody for hanging out today. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you guys want to support me further for free, look down below my YouTube channel. I archive a lot of uh, a lot of Modern Leagues, a lot of Death Shadow. So if you want to check that out, that is that would be much appreciated. It's the best way to support me. It doesn't cost any money. Um... I lands and spells, and I can't get Scarab Godded, so I think I'm going to keep it. I think that's just the number way I lose. I get Scarab Godded. And, like, this is going to be probably good at some point. Like, all these leagues from today will be up on my YouTube channel. I've got three or four mono red leagues and three or four, um, two drop tail. Uh, three or four mono red leagues and three or four... Uh, whatever they are, Red Green Monsters Leagues. So you guys can check those out. They ditched the Glimmer. Huh. This hand must be just stacked. 
jam time. I'm really excited that I've turned their, they must be just short on lands. Yeah, they're just short on lands, yep. So if this resolves, I'm just gonna blow this thing up right now. I don't care that it's all I got on the board. Maybe I was supposed to play the Kenra because this thing is like, yeah, I think I was, well, I don't know. Maybe I have to exile the graveyards on this turn. Oh, they hit a land. So I'm not super worried about it, I guess. What does this card do? This card doesn't do anything. I guess I can name Azkanta the Sunken Ruin. So I'm gonna play this Kenra first. And then I'm gonna play this Sorcerer's Spygrass and name the back half of this thing so this, this doesn't bury me. Play this so I don't get syncopated. Okay. So that's a good hand. It's gonna be tough to beat just what my opponent's got on the board. But I wonder if I would have, if I had a name search for his Kanta, would have not have flipped. Is that how that works? Then if you have seven or more cards, you may. So I could have named search and it just would have flipped, right? Is that how that works? Huh. I didn't even know that. So they ditched the land. And they found the land. So we're going to have like a, a never ending rain of gear hulks coming down here pretty soon. I wonder if I have to exile the graveyard now to draw a card. Because I just don't have anything going on. They're just going to start flashing in five sixes. But if their five sixes actually do stuff, then I'm not going to win either. I would be willing to bet that I have not played this very optimally, but this deck has not felt super great. I think I've got to just find something to do. Because I'm just going to get beat down by these if I don't do anything. If I don't do anything. But like... Yeah, well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. At least I have a heroic intervention to like protect something. But this is just not good. Did I board out too many creatures? All I boarded out was my vehicles. That was it. This has not been good. All right, we are good. Okay. Let's look back at this deck. I don't think this deck is very good at all. I think there's a version of this deck. Like, I don't think... I just grabbed this from the 5-0 list. And... I don't think there's anything very good going on about this deck. Like, I don't know. I probably didn't play it very well. Like, I made some mistakes for sure, but there's just nothing. This deck didn't feel cohesive. The sideboard plan didn't even feel that great. Yeah, well, you just you're probably happy you missed this one. I, all right. So we're gonna send this back here. Let me go. So the next deck I'm going to play either here is UB mid-range or green black snake here. I'm going, this is what the snake deck looks like. This is what the blue black deck looks like. I'm going to trade this stuff back to card hoarder, get another deck ready. And then I'm going to go take Philly out and feed him. So let me just stop this YouTube.